Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh YouTube Ali here uh, basically responding to the new video created by Jay basically talking about um, Trinity defined in the Bible <clears throat> first thing first Jay um, uh, maybe the scholars and all these other learned people that uh, Muslims that you hang out with uh, have never explained to you what Tawheed and Wahid means so let me explain to you what that means basically Tawheed means to believe in the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to you know when when you when someone says that they gain tawheed that means that they're gaining the understanding the belief that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one okay and wahi wahi means a knowledge from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it does not mean that this is um how we define god if you want a description of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala any muslim will be able to pull it out from the quran for you and it will go like this Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Kul huwa Allah wa ahad. Allah samad. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. Wa lam yakum lahu kufuwan ahad. Which basically translates to say that He is Allah the One, Allah the Eternally sought, besought to all. He begetted not, nor is He begotten, and there is none comparable unto Him. Okay, that is a description that any Muslim will give you about Allah subhanahu wa taala. He's he basically he's, he's he's eternal, you know he's one. He begets not nor is he begotten, okay. And there's nothing that can compare to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. That is the description that any Muslim will give you about Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. And I know you're in more scholarly circles, so I'm sure that they they've given you uh, even better descriptions than that. But probably you've never heard them because you probably put a finger in your ear and then listen, you know. Then <clears throat> you talk about the gods. In, in you know Elohim means gods. I'm sorry, but don't you also understand the the the, the um, royalty plural? That that's something that is commonly back then. You know, even Muhammadim. You always say Muhammadim, Muhammadim, which you know are they talking about many Muhammads? No, they're just talking about Muhammad with respect. You know, um, so basically that you know your 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 um, your description they're trying to fit into trinity into what what the bible tra translated it to it, it just doesn't make sense you know and then the other thing too you know mashallah alhamdulillah i was listening to a, a, a brother that uh, recently converted well not, he probably converted a while back from christianity to islam and he was talking about you know numbers uh, you know uh, you know in numbers um 23 verse 19 it says god is not a man not a man that he should lie nor is he a son of man that he should change his mind. So basically, I mean, right there, it just goes to show that, you know, Jesus, alayhi salam, is not God. Okay? It just goes to show that. You know, and then you say, well, you know, then basically, you, you, you know, your, your comeback to that would say, oh, well, you see, Jesus was not made by a man. You know, Mary, you know, had him. You know, he was, he was you know, he came from the divine you know, intervention of the Holy Spirit, and that's how he was born. I agree, that's how he was born. However, isn't Mary the daughter of a man? Isn't he a daughter? Of, isn't she a daughter of a man? Because I'm sorry, but her father had to boink her mother for her to be born. You know, so she is the the the, the daughter of a man. That would indirectly make Jesus the son of a man. You know, and and also the, the I mean that that that's just a you know quick example. But the brother was saying that. He, when when he went back into the Hebrew, what it, the, the 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 man that it's talking about there is not just any man; it's the man Adam, okay? And we are all the children of Adam, all of us, every last one of us are the children of Adam, alayhi salam. So basically, uh, you know that that just goes that just throws your argument in the garbage, okay? I mean, even your Bible just points to the fact that you know uh, God cannot be a man, okay? Then. Uh, you you tried to use the Quran to define your 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 Trinity uh, by by pulling out the three names that uh, match most to your Trinity, which is Al Rahman, Al Rahim, and Al Wudud. I agree, Al, Al Rahman and Al, Al Rahim are commonly used. I, you know that in the very first uh, you know uh, when you, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, it's already there. You know, so I agree, but Al Wudud is hardly used in 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 regular common. Uh, Muslim talking jargon, you know, you probably hear Al-Ghufur Rahim, 
you know, uh, 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 you know, I mean that that's probably more more commonly used name. And Al Ghufur Rahim means the acceptance of re the acceptor of repentance. Okay. So let let me let me let, let's pull this together. You know, you, you you talk about the most commonly used name from the from eternity, whatever, from the beginning when God was there. You know, and just God. You know that who is he accepting repentance from? Yeah, uh huh. No one, right? Now, now all of a sudden, no, no, no. That, that's not the name that you should look at, my friend. If you're going to use an argument, make sure your argument is 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 is, is solid, man. This is the argument you're using is definitely not solid. You know, all it all it's showing is how ignorant you are of what you know what you're trying to 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 to, to force feed a Muslim. Okay, um, you know, the Quran was not written for Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. The Quran was written, was put together for creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for the angels, for the jinns, for men. Okay, that is what the Quran was put together for. The 99 names in the Quran for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the 99 attributes that any Muslim, any person, anyone that picks up the Quran, be it man or jinn, can look and say, ah, okay, Allah is at tawab which means they ever accept him accepting of repentance so this way you know I can go pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know Allah is ar-Rahman ar-Rahim you know he's most merciful most beneficent so I can feel that the like, closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala okay most loving so I can feel that okay you know that when when I when when I feel the entire world is against me Allah is most loving okay when I when when you know Allah is ever forgiving so if I made a mistake hi Allah you know I, I did this thing this really bad Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive me. Just make sure that I ask Allah for that forgiveness. That's what these 99 names are there for. That's what they are there for. They're not, these are not the eternal names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The hundredth name, no Muslim, no, no person knows but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's only the name that's used in heaven. That's the, that's the real name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay? The hundredth name. But no Muslim knows that name. No person knows that name because it's reserved for, for only heaven. Because that is the eternal name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay, but the, in description of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, these are what the 99 attributes are for. Okay, so hopefully that answers, you know, your, your, your question about, you know, well, it's not even your question. Hopefully that, that, you know, lets you know that the myth that you're trying to spread is just, you know, pointless. Um, with that, my viewers that are watching, I appreciate the fact that you took the time to watch this video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.